there is nothing like a BMW. For more than 80 years, it has been unique in the automotive world. Unmistakable. A spirited individualist that has earned the critics' highest praise. Yet the people of BMW continue to refine the ultimate driving machine, determined to come first in a race that has no finish line. We have a heritage of excellent products. This drives us to reach even higher standards when we improve them. A launch is not the end of our work, it's just the beginning. Now we start to work on the next generation. Even so, they are successful, we find hundreds of ways to improve them. And then we find ways to improve them even more. Welcome to BMW, the best automotive company in the world. Twenty-nine thousand five hundred pounds of thrust propel this Gulfstream 5 higher, faster, and farther than any other executive jet, setting nine new world records in the process. Its power plants, two BMW Rolls-Royce BR710 engines. June 17, 1919, over Wiesenfeld Airfield. A BMW engined biplane climbed steadily to an astonishing 32,013 feet, setting a world altitude record. And in 1932, a BMW engine seaplane became the very first aircraft to flawlessly circumnavigate the globe, a pioneering spirit reflected in the new records BMW continues to set today. The devastatingly harsh Paris Dakar Rally the most grueling endurance race in the world. In 1981, BMW adapts its 58-year-old boxer engine design and wins first time out. Thanks to BMW technology, power, and durability, three more victories follow. 1923, the launch of BMW's first motorcycle, the R32. With principles so advanced, they remain basically unchanged to this day. Flat twin engine, shaft drive, and double tubular frame. Six years later, BMW's Ernst Henne set a world land speed record. And in 1937, 75 world speed records later, Henne reached a daring 175 miles per hour, a spectacular record that remained unbeaten for 14 years. A legacy of technical innovation that lives on in the finest motorcycles built today. In 1983, the Formula One World Championship is won with the world's first turbocharged production block engine, a BMW. Between 1987 and 1991, the M3 becomes the most successful race car of all time. In 1995, a BMW production-based V12 engine makes its debut on the racetrack at the 24 Hours of Le Mans and wins first time out. And in 1996 and 97, BMW M3s bring home the Manufacturer's Championship right here in the USA. 1936, the year of BMW's dramatic debut in motor racing in the 328, the world's fastest production car. This technological marvel took on the might of much more powerful cars and won first time out. A stunning victory followed at Le Mans, and in 1940, a light alloy 328 coupe won the infamous Mille Miglia. A motorsport heritage behind the responsive performance of every BMW road car today. Hello, I'm Richard Saxton, and it's my privilege to be your guide on this rare glimpse into BMW. Our look begins here at the huge Forschungs- und Engineer-Centrum, or FITS for short. Here thousands of scientists, designers, engineers, and other specialists work to develop the best cars and motorcycles in the world. BMW was the first automotive company to begin using a modular approach to new car development. For example, instead of working in the body department with other body designers, a BMW door designer is an integral member of a door team working alongside the lock supplier, power window specialist, safety expert, planner, and controller. Working closely as a team allows these engineers to react quickly and generate ideas beyond anything most people could ever imagine. 
So we found that uh, small teams, and the smaller the team, the better the exchange of information. And these are interdisciplinary teams, that means the uh, knowledge of each team member is much wider. Looks may change at BMW, but the BMW look remains. Here at the Fitz, designers interpret the legendary BMW family likeness in fresh but enduring ways that reflect the personality of each new model. Who better to explain the significance of this than design director Chris Bangle? A BMW has sets of parameters and expectations from the customer and from within that already gives you really, really strong guidelines. So maybe we start a step ahead because we are starting with BMW past, okay, just to begin with, why that is important to us. But then from there on, you have to invest, um, you have to go the extra mile. You have to invest that extra amount of time and work and thought into how can I understand this problem differently than maybe someone else would. And this is what we try to do here within my job in design is not only to make sure the cars are coming out correctly and bikes, my job is to make sure our creative process is at its absolute top to make sure that we are seeing it more than anybody else could see it. We are understanding it more than anybody else could because we want cars that are going to have long, long lasting appeal. In 20 years, we want you to be as enthused about your car as you were the day you bought it. The expectations in designing a BMW are not only unusually high, they're established by history and reinforced by enthusiastic BMW owners around the world. To meet the challenge, the designers rely on a collective sense of what makes a BMW a BMW, as well as thousands of hours of studying the human driver and passenger and a blend of computers and craftsmanship. It's kind of like a relationship between two people. Uh, you see a friend at a, at a long distance, you know it's your friend. That's the volumes speaking, okay? And that's what a BMW should do. When you see the forms of the car, what kind of forms are they talking to you? Are they animal muscleness? I like to think that the forms on the 5 Series imply a certain sense of tiger agility uh, despite its power. When you see the graphics of the car, that puts the car in motion. You know, you look at an arrow, you know which way it's going. It's got a front and a back. Our car should be the same way. And then finally, uh, uh, you get to the details of the car. So uh, you take that door handle in hand, you grab that steering wheel. You, you just took a friend in hand. You know that, that effect. When you take the hand of a friend, you have a relationship here, of course. Same when you get in a BMW. You touch that steering wheel, you touch that shift knob, I'm with a friend, this friend trusts me, and I trust him. In the design and engineering of a BMW, safety comes first. BMW safety innovations, such as the world's first head protection system, are included in the plan of a new model at the initial design stage. And while BMW may exceed government standards around the world, it must also meet a set of even higher standards, its own. Meeting the regula regulations in different countries, we have to do, but uh, our goal is to do more. After extensive computer analysis, actual crash testing is conducted on all new models. In this dramatic rollover test, the rigid body shell remains virtually intact. There is minimal roof damage. The rear window disintegrates and falls away from the passenger compartment. And the strong chassis steadies the vehicle back in its upright position. Here's what Brian O'Neill had to say following the 5 Series frontal offset crash test. If all the cars performed this well, we would stop this kind of testing. We would declare victory. There is nothing like the sound of a BMW. Acoustics is a highly specialized science that extends way beyond making a car's interior quiet. Listen to the excited song of a BMW engine as it accelerates. the gentle thunk thunk of the windshield wipers. All of these sounds are specifically created by BMW engineers in its numerous acoustics labs to enhance your comfort, awareness and safety, as well as to delight your ear. It's not no longer our goal to come down to 
lower noise levels, but we are looking by far more at the noise quality of the car to give the driver a feedback of what he is driving, to give him really a feeling of the car. For a sedan, as an example, you want to drive at constant speed at a low level of noise. But at the moment you are accelerating, you are driving in some unsteady conditions, then you also want to have some feedback from the car which should not be noisy. For Roadster, it's completely different. You should know at each moment at which regime you are operating the engine, when you have to change gears and so on. In this acoustics lab, a dynamometer can simulate either a smooth highway or a rough road. Four microphones inside the car pick up the sounds and resonance. And this test is performed even when one small component in the engine compartment is changed. Nowhere is BMW's relentless attention to detail more obvious than in the rigorous testing it conducts on every one of the 20,000 parts that make up a BMW. BMW goes beyond the number of endurance trials most manufacturers might consider more than adequate. In the electronics laboratories, every component is tested thousands of times under adverse conditions so severe they likely will never be encountered during the life of the vehicle. In this sealed and controlled environment, electronic components have to withstand temperatures ranging from 40 below to 200 degrees. And in the operating strengths lab, the body and chassis are exposed to scientifically calculated abuse that goes beyond all reasonable limits. In the laboratory, all components which are subjected to any load that can, see, can be a mechanical load, that can be thermal load, that can be vibrational load, uh, chemical corrosion load, all these components are tested in the laboratory. This shifter will change gears 100,000 times. Well, well uh, as you can see, I'm not able to compress this component, a, a spring, but with this machine, we compress the spring thousands and thousands of times up to more than one million load cycles just to cover all the requirements BMW set for those components. This safety belt test involves 70,000 pulls and 14,000 sudden stops, with a computer analyzing every single action. Oh, and every different color is tested, just in case the color itself affects the strength and performance. This test confirms how every BMW rim should react when the wheel accidentally rams the curb with extraordinary force. The rim is designed to remain structurally intact, but deform sufficiently to prompt you to see your service department, for safety's sake. This may look like a scene from a James Bond movie, but higher standards mean higher levels of safety. Here in the electromagnetic compatibility test chamber, BMW tests many highly advanced components you don't even see. Critical systems such as ABS and all-season traction, which could be vulnerable to TV signals, cell phones and radar, are assaulted with higher feed strengths of electromagnetic interference than they would ever encounter normally. When it comes to driving, there is nothing like a BMW. But how do the engineers at BMW consistently improve on vehicles that are already renowned for their suspensions, handling and brakes? BMW is the only manufacturer that has recorded each of its models at racing speed on the hair-raising Nürburgring racetrack and has used the data to develop this unique Nürburgring simulator. This terrifying rig tests a BMW suspension system under racing conditions 24 hours a day. What you're seeing is pressures from cornering and braking that are so harsh, these tires must be replaced every 300 miles. Yes, every 300 miles. Just compare that to the 30 or 40,000 miles you're likely to get on your new set of tires. A BMW would not be a BMW without thousands of hours of testing by seasoned BMW test drivers. More than anyone else, these gifted analytical drivers can sense precisely how a BMW should perform, how it should handle, and how it should feel. The car is pushed to the limit on the handling course so that these experts can examine the steering, suspension, and brakes under enormous pressure. The same scrutiny is applied on the skid pad and on the Autobahn. The drivers assess a new model's performance 
at maximum speeds. There's a battery of punishing road surface tests. The undulating pavement of a frost-heaved northern road. The uneven pavement of many city streets. The back roads of the countryside. And the cobblestones of Britain. And the emergency stop test is truly impressive evidence of the size and effectiveness of BMW's four-wheel anti-lock brakes. All the time, these highly trained drivers are looking for the answer to one question. Does this feel like a BMW? Every new BMW model also undergoes on-road testing outside the confines of BMW's own proving grounds. Camouflaged by yards of black tape, hand-built prototypes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars are sent out to the frozen lakes in Finland and the 130 degree shade of Death Valley. Because a BMW must function reliably anywhere in the world. When a new model finally receives the green light from top management, the vehicle is ready to be manufactured. BMW has factories in Berlin for motorcycle production. Cars are built in Dingolfing, Regensburg, Munich, South Africa, and South Carolina, home of the hugely successful Z3 Roadster. At the heart of every BMW is a superb engine with an 80-year heritage of outstanding durability and motorsport success. These legendary high-performance engines arrived this morning from BMW's engine plant in Steyr and will be assembled into BMW's built here at the Dingolfing factory. More than one-third of the tools used in stamping and welding were specially designed by BMW and built here in the tool shop. This is necessary to meet BMW's extremely high standards of strength, fit, and finish. In the body shop, the build quality is yet more evidence that there is nothing like a BMW. Edges are not merely cut and welded, they're hemmed like the cuff of a fine suit. Anti-corrosive material is put in here, it is hemmed over, then more anti-corrosive sealant. In total, nearly two miles of sealed edges. Just take a look at the trunk of your BMW. For the sake of precision, welding is handled almost entirely by three to six member teams of robots at Dingolfing. There are approximately 5,000 weld spots in a 5 Series. And if even one of them is off by as little as one millimeter, the assembly line shuts down. Highly advanced laser welding is required to join the roof with the side panel in order to ensure maximum rigidity and safety. Remember the strength of the roof in the rollover test? And BMW even goes as far as using ultrasound to examine the inside of a weld to ensure it is flawless. Once the body has been built to BMW's uniquely exacting standards, it's ready to be painted. At Dingolfing, BMW has developed an unparalleled system for painting its cars, using a highly advanced powder application process for the brilliant final clear coat. As soon as the car leaves the paint shop, it receives its unique wiring harness, consisting of one and a half miles of wire weighing more than 50 pounds. Keep in mind the wiring is custom crafted for each individual car and must be in position at the right time for the right body. Did you order a navigation system, 16-way comfort seats, digital sound processor? If so, the wiring is all here. By the way, there are more than 50 different types of steering wheels for the 5 and 7 series cars, all requiring unique electrical formats. Now the doors come off to be customized two floors away. We'll see them later. Remember the color of the car is Aspen Silver. An assembly line at any BMW factory isn't an assembly line at all. It's a customer line. Each one of these cars has been individually ordered by either a BMW retailer or a customer. And virtually no two BMWs are exactly alike. Globally, the 7 Series has around 60 optional features, 20 cabin designs, 
and 17 paint colors, resulting in up to 1.2 million possible combinations. And this little green box, along the way, every insulation is tested, the tautness of the bolts recorded, and all information stored in this transponder for future reference. Another BMW innovation. And here's the new all-aluminum rear assembly, 40% lighter than steel, extruded at more than 20,000 pounds per square inch of pressure for incredibly lightweight strength. Innovation that's responsive to your needs for handling, ride, and fuel economy. Now remember the doors, Aspen Silver. Here they come, right on time. Right car, right options, joining a moving assembly line at precisely the right moment. Next, the magnificent suspension, engine, and transmission join up with the body. BMW called this the wedding. And considering the 80 years of preparation that led up to this event, it is indeed a remarkable ceremony. The car is complete, and it is driven for the very first time. Now it undergoes wheel and steering wheel alignment. With checking so intense, it meets BMW's extremely high standards of driving pleasure. The driver in the car and the technician in the pit line everything up for safe, steady driving at Audubon speeds. Finally, the data control unit is removed. Then if and only if everything has met BMW standards 100%, does this go on? A symbol of BMW perfection. In the final analysis, the reason there is nothing like a BMW is that there is nothing like the people of BMW. It takes a trained and talented eye to create a shape that is pleasing. It takes a rare and gifted driver to sense if a new model performs exactly the way it should. It takes a sensitive and experienced hand to ensure there are no blemishes in the finish. And it takes every one of these people believing passionately in the need to improve what they do and improve it further to make a BMW. I never belonged, had any association with another company that had such special people in it. And these special people are reflected in very special cars. And these cars are driven. They have a, a goal in mind. They, they, share, they share a purpose with their drivers of enjoyment, of passion, of life. They're not just there just to get people from A to B. They do that with ease. They do that with grace. Yeah, we can go to A to B. Let's have fun going from A to B. Let's enjoy A to B. Um, forget about B. Let's just enjoy. That's what makes a BMW special because you see that, you understand that from the first moment you experience it. Mm -hmm.